36 days, 10 hours, 22 minutes, and maybe 10 seconds. Brian Johnson has the countdown clock in his head. As managing director, he has to keep everything on schedule. He first takes us to the spacious lobby, high ceilings, modern fixtures, and lots of glass showing off the Kansas City skyline. What's special, it's all about the view, and you know, this entire building is about the windows. It's about incorporating Kansas City and bringing it in. While there are still construction crews at work, the Grand Ballroom is ready to go. And the Junior Ballroom is ground central for all the amenities still to be delivered to all the rooms, and there's more of this coming. Somewhere in the neighborhood of 47 semis over the course of six weeks. You'll find lots of Kansas City touches, the work of local artists on the walls. Each meeting room is named after a Kansas City fountain. And the guest rooms and suites all have an aviation influence, a nod to TWA and its impact on Kansas City. The first major event here will be the Shriners International Convention in July. While critics have questioned the need for such a big hotel, Johnson believes it's already drawing new attention to Kansas City. We want to make sure we help in bring in larger programs, different programs, programs that people or groups may not have considered Kansas City in the past. And we've already started to see that. We've already started to have groups book in the hotel here that have never experienced Kansas City.